here at this moment a great uh, perfect storm right we have had this evolution of hardware and using of hardware and we talk less about the hardware side but i think that's a big crucial thing which is driving all this is the move from cpu to gpus and that's bringing in a lot of power and you can see that nvidia is doing so well is because uh, you know this is what is actually driving everything and everyone is in a mad rush to get more gpus uh, and then on the software side we have had ai progress quite a bit right we moved from machine learning uh, rule based to machine learning to deep learning now within deep learning we've we, you know nobody knows what the hell it's doing <laughs> because of its complex nature uh, but you know we are at a stage with deep learning and gpus we have something called as an llm uh, which is very powerful which can reason and which can give you very coherent outputs in terms of text mm -hmm. video mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. name it right please put yourself on mute let me mute everyone okay so so we are at that perfect storm we have this llm which is pretty useful right and we are all starting to put it to use but there is one small hitch that's happening and you know we all know it when we are in the enterprise we have still not been able to use it for real wo world applications yet right and the problem is you must have we have heard about hallucination but it's basically that it makes up things a lot right? or we think it makes up things a lot uh, people have got into trouble like this lawyer who took chat gpt stuff and then he got into trouble people in enterprises getting into trouble people who are implementing co-pilots uh, chat GPT in the organization this the thing that it's you know it needs a lot of hand holding it needs um, a, a, a lot of work still for AI to be useful uh, so that you know I don't know what you guys think put your thoughts there so but that's that you know that that's where we are in terms of uh, AI very powerful we are we have this thing which can reason but you know we have not been able to practically use it and the reason is because LLMs are mostly doing system one thinking. Now, I don't know if you have read this book by Daniel Kahneman, and uh, you know if you not read also, it's it's okay. There are like when in humans we have two types of thinking, right? Uh, it's the it's the um, uh, system one thinking and system two thinking. So system one is, you know, like whatever is quick and intuitive. So supposing I ask you a question like, what is two times three? I think you would all already got the answer, right? Uh, it's two times two or one times three or whatever, because you're not thinking, it's all memorized. You know, two times two is four, right? Uh, but if I ask you something like, what is 765 into 63? Immediately you have to think right you have to give it a thought you have to give it a pause you have to give, think about it now that is system two so system one is fast intuitive automatic unconscious you automatically tell it but system two is rational logical and conscious right so now that rational thinking is what ai is currently missing what llm currently miss llm by itself misses that at this point of time now it may pick it up later, but right now that is missing. And that's with the system two type of thinking where it is more rational, logical, more useful, because unless you have that, generally our thinking is also can be very hallucination, hallucinating, right? So if you blurt out the answer, it could be wrong. It's just like the AI with, with that intelligence, right? So, so we are trying to add this slower system, rational thinking to AI. And there are many ways to do it and you know one one way is going from you know so we've been getting trying to get away from this hallucination for quite some time right so one is we had this prompt and getting answers is we are seeing it's a hallucination so then we started introducing something like retrieval augmented generation so in which case what happens is there is a retrieval and then augmentation which means that if if you have a wide big library of books uh, it's going, it's, we are giving also the specific book that is right for that uh, specific prompt to the prompt. So we're adding this information to the prompt, in which cases the hallucination does reduce a bit, but it's not gone. It's still that same model. 
we tried fine tuning fine tuning is adding the data to the model which again that hallucination because again this is we're stuck at system one so what people are saying there are two ways to get over this right um, one way is uh, complex prompting and we'll talk about that in a minute uh, like the chain of thought so if you've seen earlier uh, like the chat gpt when i just was trying out this one here so if we say something like earlier when you were doing computations in chat gpt uh, it it used to get things wrong <laughs> And then now what chat G or GPT-4 is adding is this, uh, is this way of, uh, you know, chain of thought or, you know, basically using other tools to come up with the right answer. They are, it's not using the earlier LLM only model to get this right answer right now. So what AI agents is, is a way to get to the system two level of thinking or a more uh, logical thinking through various means, right? and mostly by using planning, right? So one is the reasoning and planning, and then it can use tools, it can bring in tools, uh, and it can also, it also has a memory, <clears throat> all three of which we'll talk about, but that's where AI agents is. And I think that's why AI agents is important is because we're adding that critical component uh, of, you know, able to step back, think, and give the right outputs to us. So that, that's what this whole AI agents is as per me.